Hello, this is Wampire. I'm here to talk about the martial way. Okay, so the path of martial arts. So in martial arts, you have probably heard the term Bujitsu, and then you've also may have heard Budo. Bujitsu, Bu means martial, so Jitsu means skill. So it is martial skill. And Budo, Bu means martial, once again, and Do means the path. So it is the martial way. So martial skill versus the martial way. Um, another example I could give you guys is um, jujitsu, the soft skill, versus judo, which is the soft way, right? Um, so what's the difference? The difference is the philosophy there. So one is just concerned about the skill. Nothing more, nothing less, just, you know, the fighting skill or developing that skill, right? And then the other one is the path. So what's up with the path? The path is basically, to put it in a nutshell, from my understanding, the path means how you walk the path is more important than the goal, okay? And the best way that I could describe this, right, is actually from a completely different source and the, the famous doctor, Patch Adams, okay? So this dude is a humanitarian. Uh, he really existed in everything and uh, he was known for, you know, helping out uh, patients and stuff. He was a doctor that wasn't into the money. He really had this kind hearted spirit where he just wanted to help people out, right? So he had this very famous saying, if you treat the disease, you win some, you lose some. If you treat the patient, you always win. So that is exactly the martial path philosophy, in my opinion. It's 100% matches, okay? So what that means is if you focus on the goal, you know, which is maybe to defeat the opponent, you may or may not succeed. And that's not something you can really control. It, it just is whatever the outcome, you know, let the chips fall where they may, you know. And uh, he's saying, rather than focusing on that, it's how you do it. So uh, that that's another thing. Um, pride, if you guys remember in for MMA, the Pride Fighting Championships in Japan, I think one of the reasons why they were so popular compared to the UFC at the time was the UFC was, you know, these fighters are trying to be uh, number one. They want the belt and everything, and, and so they're getting ranked and everything, um, and it's their career and all that. But in Japan, it was kind of like, even if you lose, if you put on a good match, they're inviting you back, and you, you get to compete in this big, huge event spectacle, and that's an experience in itself. So uh, they, they kind of embraced that kind of um, attitude, right? So it's kind of the same idea once again. So fighters that just was concerned about winning, sometimes you'll see them fight, and it's a boring fight. They'll just... The, the term lay and pray and stuff like that, where they would just hold you down and that's it. They would play by the points and they're not really showing that uh, warrior spirit necessarily. They're fighting smart career-wise, but it's not exciting. So, uh, and, and at that time, Japan, uh, in the pride organization, they tend to awarded fighters that put on a good show. So if you went in there and you were exciting, even if you lost, they're going to want you back and you're going to be making tons of money and and, you, and fame and all that fame and fortune type stuff. So, um, yeah. So what I'm trying to say here, I'm just going, kind of going off track, is that the path is how you walk the path, not the goal. So imagine we all have goals, all of us, right? And we're all like 
trying to climb this mountain. So imagine the goal is at the way at the top of the mountain. So we're all trying to climb it, okay? Whatever your goal is. And we're all trying to go up this mountain that could be kind of fierce, right? Why? Because it, the mountain is a metaphor for life. And life can be tough, really, really tough, right? So as we're all trying to climb this mountain and, and do better in our lives, you're going to notice some people, the way they're you know, climbing up the mountain, you don't like the way they're, they are doing it. You don't like what they're saying or you don't like what they stand for or you don't like the way they look or whatever, right? So what are you going to do? You're going to kick them off the mountain? So to me, when you say martial path, what's important here is to help people out. I, I remember when I was in Japan, um, I had, you know, I grew up with severe asthma all my life. And uh, I was bullied over there in junior high, junior high and high school. Um, I didn't go to high school over there, but in junior high, I was bullied. And then over here in the U.S., I was bullied in high school. So, you know, um, it's, it's a darn shame that people have to be that way. But over there, um, being in Tokyo, where the pollution is really bad and everything, and my asthma was super, super bad, and trying to adapt to this new environment and everything is very stressful. And so life was hard, and then on top of that, I'm getting bullied, and schoolwork is hard too because um, I prefer – English was more comfortable at the time and things like that, right? So I'm, I'm just having a lot of trouble adapting. And during PE time, it's never athletic, and we got to run the mile or whatever. It wasn't the mile, but we had to run. And so I'm running, and I'm huffing and puffing and have my asthma spray and everything. And I'm behind everybody. So the, the least athletic person, I'm behind that person because of my asthma. And the top most athletic dude in class, that guy, the, most, the number one most athletic guy, he um, came back and was running aside me and making sure I was okay. So... That kind of kindness, I'll never forget. And to me, he displayed how you walk the path. So as we're all trying to climb this mountain, you know, I want to be the guy to help the weakest person or whatever, or people that are struggling, not make fun of them, not kick them off the mountain, or not judge them and say, I don't like the way you're talking, or I don't like what you're saying. Or I don't like what you stand for. Not judge the person, but help people out. I think that is the martial way. Another thing I would like to say to people is you reap what you sow, right? That That's a saying. So if you find yourself constantly arguing with people online, um, you know, there's a lot of hostility going on in your life and stuff like that. It, you're creating that negativity. You know, so once again, I encourage people from what Sensei Rick taught me is to be a professional and just focus on helping people. So, yeah, there's plenty of things that I don't like. There's plenty of things that I disagree with. But rather than focusing on that and arguing, because then you only become good at arguing. And those people, if, they're not, if they don't want to change, they're not going to change. I can't, no matter how right I am, they're not going to go, oh, you're so right. I'm going to change my mind. That doesn't happen. If, if they don't like you for even the stupidest reason, they're not going to like you. And then there's people out there that got all kinds of problems and they, they're hateful and whatnot, but that's on them. So why butt heads with that? And here's another saying, I keep going into these, but Miracle Krokop, he, he said something that I thought was very... Interesting. He said he's a Croatian saying. He said that um, if you argue with the fool, then to the public, they don't know which person is the fool. And that, I think, is very true. I see it on YouTube all the time. I see people going, now, that's a great martial artist. 
I go, this guy doesn't know anything what he's talking about, but he thinks that person is, that's his opinion, but he's mistaking it with fact. So, you know, I think that's a very, very good advice from uh, Miracle Prokop. If you argue with the fool, the public won't be able to tell who's the fool. Okay. And, and another thing is, um, you know, more realistically, if you're in a street situation, street altercation or whatever, when the cops come, they don't know who the bad guy is. And in your mind, it's very, very clear. And you might be physically beating down the bad guy and you're huffing and puffing and trying to talk to the police officer. If you don't chill out and, you know, remember, they're, the cops are used to the bad guys lying and stuff. They, they're going to look at you like, whoa, whoa, hold on, you know. So, you know, it's kind of the same, same, uh, same thing. They don't know who the fool is. They don't know who the bad guy is. So it's better not to get involved in that kind of situation. And I'm not saying don't look the other way. That's not what I'm saying, okay? There are martial arts frauds there are people that who should not be teaching teaching and there's plenty of that kind of stuff but rather than finding and singling out those people and attacking them and saying they're bad they suck they don't deserve it and blah 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 rather than doing that the best thing i can do in my opinion is to set an example and try to encourage others and as a community, because, you know, if I say something about so-and-so and, and whatnot, it, it's, once again, it's, I'm causing an argument, and then to the public, they don't know which guy is fake or real, or they're not going to know. So it just makes the whole thing look bad. All, martial, you know, the martial arts community look bad. Well, their martial artists are constantly arguing about which style works, which style doesn't work, which teacher's good, which teacher's bad. They're constantly, constantly just arguing. You know, I'd rather focus my energy on craft development. I want to perfect my knife skills, my stick skills. I, I want to do that, you know. And through that, I want to encourage other people to do the same. And... The real people will start to hopefully eventually start standing out and you know the frauds and whatnot I'm 100% against lying and cheating and tricking um, people and stuff like that so yes you know those things are bad but then there's also plenty of gray areas all right because you know, there, there are things that people are arguing about that are in the gray area and you can't 100% say black and white. You be the judge and say that person shouldn't be teaching. Who are you? You know what I mean? So that that's not cool, right? So at, at if you're in that area, you once again should be encouraging people. And if someone asks me in private, in person, do you recommend this school? And if I know that school is a bad school, that they are fraudulent or the teacher is a, you know, a rapist or something like that, you know, I'm not going to badmouth and say, here, let me give you some juicy gossip. No, but I'll say, I don't recommend that school. How about this other one? I like this, this school. I like this teacher. I'll say that. And that's a lot more positive. All right, you go. Well, what's wrong with that school? You know, I, I, to me, I would just stay away from that place, and uh, I'm not, you know, a hundred percent. I don't know that school, but you know, from what I, from what little that I can gather, it, I don't know, you know, and just leave it at that. And if they keep asking, it's like I don't know. They look a little hostile, or or. Uh, I don't know if the learning environment is that great or, you know, just say, say it like that. It's still very professional and you go, it's just my opinion. I don't know them, but not the, it doesn't look like the best learning environment to me. This other school I recommend, they seem to, uh, you know, be very nice or, or, or whatever, you know, so 
you know, I keep it professional. So, so important. Um, so I think that's, it's really important. You want people to be nice to you. I think it's important that, that you're also nice to others. And, and, uh, that, that, that's really uh, what I wanted to focus on. Um, we, as martial artists, we all benefit together. It's not one person's great and everybody else sucks. It's, that's not the way it works, you know? So um, if, if someone is very successful, and I may not agree with them, but thanks to them, they are causing interest in martial arts. So, you know, I have to be grateful for that. But if they are fraudulent or whatever, then I don't have to agree with that. And I can warn people and say, hey, you know, be careful. Make sure you do a background check or, or whatever, you know. So that is important in my opinion. So anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.